Chandra from my expressions and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video featuring my second Pandora travel bracelet and this one is more focused towards Europe and our European vacation. Um, very first time I went to Europe. I hope not the last but <laughs> I guess it's not a big deal if I start another bracelet for a second Pandora. I mean for a second um, European vacation would, would it? <laughs> Now, if you're wondering what the heck this is right here and what's going on here, I suggest you watch part one. <laughs> part one explains what the heck happened to my nail. Um, part one, I talked about my uh, travel bracelet featuring vacations and trips I've taken just with my husband. This one was with my entire family and my husband, of course. But um, we went for my birthday last year. So it was a big birthday and therefore it was a big occasion. So. Let's dive into it. And before, actually, before we do dive into it, I do have to say, whew, I do have to say that um, I think the bracelet as is is not going to fit a bracelet. It's too big. It has too many charms. I'm not even thinking of adding clips. I'm thinking of getting the smooth Pandora bracelet with a round clasp with no stations, no clip stations, because I don't have room for clips at all. Uh, I have played around with several sizes and I'm a 7.5 but I do go up to a 7.9 if it's full or if I have Murano's. No Murano's here but the hearts do kind of take some extra room because they're wider than regular you know uh, charms so I think I might have to go up to 8.3 which I really don't want to do because it'll be really big. So I think I may have to edit some, you know, edit some of these out, take, you know, take some down, take some off, um, <laughs> cause I have too many charms. Um, and I do, I have heard, or actually I saw on Instagram, I forgot the account, I think it's Pandora something, I forget the account, it's Pandora Love or, I don't remember, sorry. Um, and she's been featuring previews of the upcoming fall, yeah, fall. And I thought I heard rumors. I heard rumors that they're gonna do a Notre Dame charm. If that's the case, I need that charm. And I I saw. I think I saw uh, the Arc de Triomphe. If I'm saying that completely wrong, Arc de Triomphe, I guess charm. And if that's the case, I, that's the case. I need that charm too. So this is already full. I don't. So I don't know how I'm going to like figure that out. <laughs> I don't want to do two bracelets. I strictly want to do one bracelet. Oh my goodness. So I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll have to take off the passport and the airplane and then maybe the around the world, which I'll show you. It's off frame. I'll show you that in a bit. In a bit. So without much further ado, let's just get started because I know I'm talking too much. And I think for this one, I'm going to zoom in because in the other video, I was kind of like showing things up close to the lens and I don't think it's... It works as well. So I think it's better just to zoom in. Okay. Yes. So this is a duplicate. Because me and my stupid duplicates. I bought another airplane. The original one when it is on my random bracelet. I thought I needed a different one for this one because I didn't think I'd have enough charms to fill a bracelet. My mistake. This one may be coming off. And I may I might be selling it. I don't know. So Again, no, no, yeah, just the trip there, no big deal. <laughs> the passport, again, I was stupid enough to buy a duplicate. I already had one on my random bracelet because I was thinking that was kind of more like, it's a random bracelet of all the charms that I think are cute, but it also kind of had a, um, a representation of my husband and myself. Like that was kind of like our bracelet and of all the things that we've done in the past, which was travel a lot. So I bought a, another airplane, which was kind of dumb of me. I may sell it, who knows? I don't know. I'm still kind of in limbo when it comes to this stuff. So I bought an airplane and another passport. I may take this one off, but again, represents the travel. The vintage fan my sister bought for me as a birthday present there because we went to Spain and they told her that this was a, I don't know if they told her it was a Spain exclusive. I don't think it was a, they, thought they told her that, but I think she liked it because it represents like the fan. For the flamenco dancers so that's why this is here i'm kind of thinking taking it off because i already have a charm for the fan <laughs> which you may have already kind of peeked at we shall see 
I don't know. Until I figure it out, it'll be here. Oh, next we come to the scooter charm, which was very hard for me to find, which is kind of regret a little bit because I actually found one on eBay um, for a little bit cheaper. Ah, oh, sorry. For a little bit cheaper, but uh, yeah, and I struggled to get the, this little charm right here, the scooter charm, but I'm happy I got it. Very, very happy. Um, I always thought, and I, I want to apologize if I was like a stereotypical American, but I always thought that the Vespas and scooters were predominantly more popular in Italy. Again, movies, you know, probably made me feel that way. They actually, they are predominantly everywhere in Europe, I would, I would say, and more so in Spain. I think I saw a whole bunch of these little scooters in Spain, so I just thought it was very fitting, again, to get the little scooters, especially because we have an inside joke. My husband and I have an inside joke on the scooters that we kept seeing in Spain. I don't want to talk about it because it's funny <laughs> to me and to him, but no one else is going to think it's funny. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just remembering it, so it's making me laugh. Okay, good. focus, focus. <laughs> the luggage. I want to get the luggage because I it says Paris. It has a tiny little tower there. I don't think I need this anymore. <laughs> It's taking up space. I thought it was very fitting. I already have the other luggage, the one that's exclusive for travel, the one that says I love to travel. I actually wanted to put that one on this bracelet, but I didn't want to take it off the bracelet it was on, so I thought I'd take it, get this one instead. Again, just a waste of money. Again, I didn't think I'd have enough charms to fill the bracelet full of European, I mean, your European exclusives or charms to represent, you know, um, the locations we went to visit in Europe. So silly me. Again, silly me. So I don't know. I may just be an orphan beat after this, but again, it is, it's not a big deal for me. It's it's not like the end of the world. Next we come to the Jetem Paris exclusive. We went to the Louvre, which I did not know had a, pa a, a Pandora store, thanks to Fears Die, who went to the Louvre as well and like took pictures when she was in the, the, the concept store in the Louvre. So I was like, oh my God, we're gonna go there and I'm gonna make a stop and I did. Funny story, I had to go pee really, 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 really bad. And we're having trouble figuring out how to get into the museum. But as soon as I saw the Pandora bracelet, God, it's like dirty, I'm sorry, it looks, I'm just making it worse. <laughs> That's gross. Yeah, wait, I feel like my hands are even that dirty. Let's try this. La, 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 la. It's just charm. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I forgot all about the fact that I had to go pee really bad and made a beeline to the store and I forgot I had to go pee. It was just, it's funny how your body works and you just forgot because your your brain got, like my brain just filled with endorphins when I saw Pandora. I was like, oh, forget it. I don't know what else is going on. I can forget my body functions. I need to shop now. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I was really happy I got the Jatem. I got other things there too. I've already featured these in a previous haul. You guys want to see that for any reason. Next we come to the Spain. And I don't know, I mean, I, it is an exclusive. I did buy it there, but you know, it, it's just, it says Spain and it's cool. I bought the Spain and Madrid uh, charms together, which I will showcase in a bit. Of course, Spain, I went to Spain. The artist palette, um, I forget if it was me or Diamond D who helped me figure out what charm to use to represent the Luva, and I don't know if it was her or me, I forget, it's either, either one of us who thought of, of the artist palette for, uh, to represent the fact that we visited the Luva. I saw a whole bunch of masterpieces that I never thought I'd see in real life. I thought that they would only, you know, I would only see them in books or posters or whatever. And I saw so many pieces, again, that I never saw, never thought I saw in real life. So, or oh, I can't talk, <laughs> that I never thought I'd see in real life. So that was a dream come true. So I thought that was very fitting. And again, Diamond D, hi. <laughs> I don't remember if it was you or me who said uh, that was a good, you know, charm to represent that. But regardless, it's there. And of course, I got the Cathedral Rose. We went to go visit the St. Chapelle and Notre Dame. Um, beautiful, beautiful cathedrals. So never really cared for this charm before, but I thought, you know what? I need it now. I'm so glad I found it for a really excellent price at the outlets. The French flag. Now I do have to say, 
I've been hunting, guys. I've been hunting for the last, I'm, I'd say almost a year now. Ever since I came back from Europe, I wanted to make a bracelet. I started hunting for all these retired charms. And it's taking a long time, guys, but I'm just so happy that I'm finally, like, getting to a point where this is almost completed and full. So, a lot of time and energy has gone into this bracelet, which is probably why I really like to, it's become one of my favorites. And I want to say thank you once again to Charm Girl 70 or Charm Girl 90. Hold on, I'm going to look it up real fast because it's appropriate for me to thank you again. Charm Girl 80. I was close, 70, 90, 80. Charm Girl 80 on Instagram. You are the one who hooked me up with the French flag. Um, if it wasn't for you, I don't know where I'd find it. I think I'd have to pay full price or I'd have to go somewhere. I forget. I don't know, but I, I know I had trouble looking for it or finding it. I know you were the one who, who, who sent it to me in the mail um, from one of the Jared vaults that you have access to. And I just want to say thank you so much again for, for that, for helping me find this charm. Because if it wasn't for you, I don't think I'd be able to find it. And next we come to the Madrid. Uh, obviously, yeah, I got the Madrid and the Spain together. Very fitting because we were in Madrid for a couple of days. Um, didn't do much. We just kind of saw the sights and watched a soccer game, which was actually pretty amazing. It's not the first soccer game I've been to, but it was a special one. It's something that my dad wanted to do. It was on his bucket list to see his favorite team play in their home stadium. So we went to go do that. It was very, it was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be for sure. <laughs> so I have a special memory from Madrid for that. Of course, the Paris exclusive Eiffel Tower with a two-tone heart. I mean the gold heart. It's a two-tone two -tone charm. The gold heart is a little bit pricey, but I thought, you know what? It's my first trip to Paris, so I have to commemorate it with the Eiffel Tower and the little gold heart. So that was perfect for that as well. The next is the Seville. Yes, so the, and I think I've talked about this before, but the way it, ha it worked, so my husband and I and my immediate family went to the trip to Europe. Halfway through the trip, we split from my immediate family. They went to Seville and we went to Grenada. So I spent my birthday in Grenada and then they were in Seville. So then we reunited in Barcelona and that's when we celebrate our birthday. My birthday, <laughs> our birthday. I'm sorry guys, I'm so, oh, you guys don't even know how tired I am. <laughs> Can't even talk right. Okay, so my birthday, <laughs> we came back together and celebrated my birthday. And that's where I got the, my sister bought me this one, and my parents got me the Seville, um, that's where they were from, they, they you know, were, well, we were in Grenada. So what I plan to do is I plan to have it engraved back here with Grenada and Seville. What's in Spanish? Um, to commemorate him again. This, this is all about this one trip, so that's why I'm doing all of this. <laughs> okay. Of course, I had to get the Spanish flag as well, since I have the French flag. You know, so I got the Spanish flag. And I know you guys are probably thinking, well, you already have Spain over here, and then you have Madrid and Seville, and you know, we'll kind of keep on going. Do you really need the flag? I do. I do need the flag because I have the French flag. You know, and I couldn't find any like exclusives that said Paris on them like this. I got the Jetem and the Eiffel Tower, so you know, logic. This is not logic, you guys. Come on. <laughs> uh, I just like the way it looks so far. And this is my focal point too. This is the middle part of my bracelet. So it's yeah. It, it, I know, guys. I know. <laughs> oh, not only am I redundant with multiple charms, but I am very. What's the word? Is it OCD? Probably. <laughs> okay, and now we come to the soccer ball. This is a an oldie. I found this on eBay, and I hunted and hunted to make sure that I got a genuine one, and I think it is. It's genuine, although I was told it was new. <clears throat> it wasn't new when I bought it. Oh, sh sorry, guys. Pardon my French. I'm just... Try not to break my other nail over here. Okay, what was I saying? Soccer ball. <laughs> the soccer ball. Mm, 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 mm. Yes, I bought this from a pan. No, no, an eBay seller who 
said that they were liquidating their older Pandora stock. They said it was brand new. They guaranteed the authenticity. I believe them. They had 100% feedback. However, they said it was new. It wasn't new. Not new. You can tell. Let me see if I can get close-ups here. There we go. So you can tell it's got tiny little pock marks. See that? But you know what? For the price I paid, I think I paid less than 30. I want to say even 23. So that's why it kind of jumped on it. Um, I was disappointed it wasn't new, but you know what? It's not in bad shape. So I'll take it. I'm okay with that, you know? And again, I just talked about Madrid and how we watched um, a soccer team, my dad's soccer team, play in their home field or home stadium. So that's a representation of that moment. Um, they make it in blue, purple, and green, I believe. And if I hadn't found the red, I would have settled for the blue. But the red has a special significance, so that's why I wanted it in red. And it's a ruby red. It's more of a pinky red, but I figured, eh, close enough. Next, we come to the Barcelona. <laughs> I feel weird saying exclusive because they're really how exclusive. It's the same charm, just with different, different, um, different engraving. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to call it an exclusive, but there it is, Barcelona. <laughs> we met there. The I Love to Travel the World with You. This was whole. I wasn't the complete heart, but I took it off because I needed a room. Because the little one takes a little extra room here. And I just thought it'd be kind of fitting to put it on my other travel bracelet. Which, again, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out if you haven't seen it. I'm all over the place there, too. I don't know what to do with the bracelet. It's not like me to not have a plan or know what is going to go on a bracelet. So it kind of is strange for me not to know. So it's a weird feeling for me. <sighs> but it's not important. <laughs> Next, we come to All Around the World. I got to her Christmas last year. Because I already wanted the, uh, you know, I was already making, you know, I was working on this travel bracelet. So this may be coming off, though, because I don't think I have enough room for everything I want to do. Again, if, if Pandora comes out with the Arch of Triumph and the Notre Dame, then I those need to go on my bracelet too, and I, as it is, I don't have room already. I don't have room. So, and I know you guys are probably thinking I'm missing a dangle here, I know. I, it's not arranged. It's not their final arrangement, obviously, so no worries. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, guys. I'm kind of at a loss, unfortunately. And this one, you guys will have to forgive me. Mm -hmm. This one is a fake. It's not a real Pandora charm. It was advertised as real. I was hoping it was going to be real. And when I got it, I could tell it just wasn't. I'm not sure what it is about it. I could just tell it's not. It doesn't look right. I think you guys could probably... If you guys have it... Like, if you guys have this charm and you see it, this one, then I'm going to... Whoops. Zoom in. You could just tell it's not real. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I, maybe I'm lucky. I got lucky after all, but I don't think I did. I think this is a blatant fake. Of course, I couldn't tell that on the photos eBay. Mm -hmm. Guys, be careful with eBay. <laughs> it's a very rare charm to find now, apparently. I just can't find it anywhere. So for now, it's a stand-in until I can either find the Sagrada Familia that I'm looking for, this one, used, I guess, pre-loved or new, which is going to be very rare, or if I get something in the mail from someone special that we've been talking, maybe I can um, replace it with that one. Although I still do prefer this one. <laughs> so who knows? <laughs> who knows? Um, next we come to the teapot. The Saudi, is it Saudi Arabia? No, Dubai. I was getting too confused. Uh, I'll just say Arabian because I don't know which country it's exclusive to. It's an exclusive teapot. It's the Dollar Charm. Now, I know that someone may be getting a little bit concerned because I got me this Dollar Charm. Um, and I'm just going to say, if you're watching, I'm sorry, honey. I just couldn't wait anymore. I really wanted to complete my bracelet as soon as possible. 
so I couldn't wait anymore so I ended up getting one I found one on eBay I'm pretty sure it's genuine pretty sure it's genuine because oh I kept looking at the pictures and etc etc and it looks genuine to me for all I know it could be fake still I don't think so though because I bought this from Singapore again on eBay for a very good price actually It's pretty loud, but I can't really tell because it's so um, it's got more oxidation on it than charms usually do nowadays. So I'm pretty sure it's genuine, and if not, well then I'll keep on waiting for the one you got for me. <laughs> and until then, it'll be my stand-in until I can get yours. All right, getting back to the bracelet. Oh yes, I finally got my fan. <laughs> I was gonna get the original Love Fan. I think it's called Love Fan. Love Vintage Fan or Love Fan. The all sterling silver one, but that's very hard to come by now. It's kind of rare. So, and it says España on it, so I'm okay with that. Because that's exactly where we went. So when I uh, found out that Pandora was coming out with this charming um, summer, you guys all know I had to have it. Just had to have it. So finally got it. And that's... Oh, I forgot to, sh to say why this is on my bracelet. Um, Grenada, I guess. Grenada, I'm not sure the history of, of like Spain per se, but I know that the Moors invaded Spain and they were there for more than 800 years, which is crazy. I thought it was more like 200 years. But being there and talking to tour guides... You learn about the history of the country and it turns out that they were there for more than 800 years so there is a heavy moorish um influence like in art and decoration um in spain because culture is intermixed so i know that I, again i forgive me if i'm ignorant with here with um cultures i don't know exactly so please forgive my ignorance but i know that some arabian countries have a strong uh, coffee culture and that's where the dollar comes from it's a, it's actually it's supposed to be a coffee pot I think the dollar hope I'm saying that right um, so it's actually a I think it's a coffee pot but in the era that we were in it, I guess maybe Morocco is different than other Arabian countries I'm not quite sure they have a stronger tea culture than a coffee culture I think I think so when we were in Grenada it was tea 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 so much tea oh my god so much tea and i loved it we bought back so much tea from there it was amazing every tea we tried was like mouth-watering delicious like i just want to live there honestly i could i could just live there <laughs> not come home um but it, it was oh yeah so we <laughs> so they have teapots obviously right and they're tiny little teapots and they're tiny little like you know glasses of tea like you know but four inches tall little glass tea cups or whatever bought those two by the way <laughs> um but i just thought it was fitting you know and i think i did some research when i came back and i think the dollar is used for both coffee and tea Can someone please correct me if i'm wrong I, i'm not quite sure exactly so again i don't want to step on people's toes or offend anyone i don't i don't know i'm i'm ignorant i'll i'll, I'll be honest so if that's true that the dollar serves both coffee and tea, then I thought that's why I needed it. I was like, I need to get their little Arabian teapot to commemorate that part of our trip. So, and of course the fan for the flamenco dances, we saw some table, is it table, is it, ta is it called a table dance? Or board, I forget. Oh, it's Spanish. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not, it's not a table dance. Oh my God, that sounds like something else. I apologize. It's a tabla, I think, right? Tabla? I forget. I don't remember. <laughs> don't get mad at me, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> forget I just said that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that is my European vacation commemorative bracelet trip, whatever you want to call it. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm very proud of this bracelet. Very happy with it as it is right now. It's not completed, obviously. I'm missing some dangles here, probably right there. I don't know if I'm going to get rid of the passport, the airplane, the luggage, and the all-around to make room 
for potentially more um, more charms. Uh, Versailles, Winter Versailles as well. I have a charm coming to me to represent that, and that was Dee's idea. Thank you, Diamond D, for that. Because we're like asking you, and I asked Instagram, like, what's a good what's a good charm for Versailles? And I got so many good suggestions, but I went with hers, which I will add to this price. But if I add that, there's it, it, no room, room, no more room. For sure. So for sure, I have to remove one of these. So I have four charms I can remove. Possibly maybe this one, but I'm not sure because my Mr. Bar from me for my birthday, so I kind of want to keep it on there. Um, one, two, yeah, three, four. So again, just wanted to showcase this bracelet before I filmed my entire Pandora charm collection um, because I haven't shown this bracelet yet. So I thought that was kind of fitting to do that. So okay, sorry, my rambling. Uh, again, I'm not focused. I am tired. <laughs> it's been long, long weeks behind me. <laughs> but again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!